at the Northern State Mental Hospital in Cedro Woolley, Washington. It was functional from 1912 to 1973. It's now shut down and just sitting out here completely abandoned. I've seen photos of this place before. It looked amazing. Now that we're here, it has far surpassed my expectations. So let's go check it out. Not sure what this was. We're gonna do a walkthrough of the whole property right now. Uh, I think there's like six or seven different buildings. Uh, I don't really know how any of this stuff worked, so if you guys have any answers, let me know. This is kind of the central area of the property right here. One thing that's really amazing about this location, uh, where we are right now is actually not where the, the patients lived. This is actually where they worked. They ran a dairy farm here and the patients actually built this whole place. All the cement work, everything was put together by the mental patients. And this piece that I'm sitting on right here, this is really cool because there's actually designs in the concrete. Most of the time when you get something that's been abandoned for 30, 40 years, there's nothing left. It's completely trashed, vandalized. There's a little bit of vandalism here, but not a whole lot. But a lot of the stuff is actually left. This whole location was heated with uh, water, like the water, water boiler furnaces. I don't know what you call them, but you can see them in all these buildings. And a lot of them still have the original boilers still in it. This one does, so I want to show you. This is one of the boilers. And then big water tank up here. There's quite a few of these still left on the property. Yes, Dan. What's up? What are you doing? We're right in the middle of the property right now. I want to take you guys and show you a building that finally led us to know that this was not for the patients but for animals. So when we first came in here, we thought this was a washroom actually. But uh, then I could see these pipes going up and then of course no drain at the bottom and then these troughs and then these what I'm assuming are stoppers. So that's when I realized probably there was cattle or something in here and this is where they would come feed. So they'd eat here and then of course when they have to go to the bathroom we just go into this trough and they'd wash it down to the drain. So I think that's what this is. If anyone has any farm or ranch experience, uh, let me know. There's a big concrete tower over here. The ladder is still inside to go to the top. I don't know if I have the guts to climb it. I still don't know how any of this stuff works, but I noticed that both of these sides, they are slanted down into the middle. If anyone knows the reason for this, I would be curious to know. Mm 
the shoe. Well, there's still cow shit on the wall. <gasps> All these years later. It's really amazing, actually. These buildings that still have roofs that are intact, the inside is in remarkable condition. It's an old feeding trough. Guess for water, maybe? This looks just like a clay roof, but it's actually tin. Yeah. But this building is still in very, very good condition. These here are the last two buildings on this location. Now, I don't know why there's such a variation in the roofs. This one is tin, but uh, looks much newer than this one that's tin. And then this one, it's also tin, but it, it's the one that looks like clay. Maybe they were built at different times, I'm not sure. This building we're in right now, it's one of the only ones that's entirely out of wood. The roof is pretty much gone, but even the flooring is out of wood here. I'm surprised it's still standing because the ones over there that are brick, um, the roofs are gone. And this one, the walls are pretty much gone, but the roof is, is still standing anyways. You need to be taller. Got it. I'm not gonna walk around too much up here because um, obviously the, as you can see right here, it's got some rotten spots. But there was something up here, maybe storage before. I don't know. I'm gonna break an ankle. Quit laughing at me. I actually don't know. You can you can put your egg in the on the wall. Like you can I need a leg that goes this way. You can pass here, this. There? Yeah. And then what? There, and you put the legs here, and the window here. There's nothing to hold on to here. We just found something really, really cool that I want to share with you guys. We're right beside this one large building here. And the cement outside, it has people's names carved into it. You have Andy here. Maybe a Julie. Allie, I don't know, That's they're quite faded. Olivier, can't quite tell. What an amazing piece of the history here though. Those names in the concrete, they're just over there. When I mean that this place has not really been that vandalized or anything, this old steel door, really, really cool. And you can still see the writing on it. Old phone number. Really cool. Most places I go, stuff like this is stolen right away. This next location we're checking out, it's a real treat for you guys. When this place was operational, it used to house 2,700 people. Naturally, people die. On location, they actually had their own crematorium. Now, you guys are always calling me out on seeing ghosts and different things in my videos, so I took the liberty. We came here last night to check out the crematorium. Check this footage out. 
everyone is always pointing out in my videos when they see ghosts or what they think are ghosts. I've never been a disbeliever. I've just never had anything happen to, uh, to make me believe. So it's uh, about 9.30 at night right now. We're heading out to the crematorium. Just gonna see if we can see anything or hear anything, but uh, we'll see. Great big boiler right here. And unfortunately, the roof has completely caved in on us. So uh, we can't go in this room at all. The front entrance actually is right here, uh, right there. So we came in the back side. So we're at the back, this is a great big chimney all the way up. And I don't know for sure, but maybe this is where the bodies went in. Lots of ash here. This is the outside of the building here going around to the front. Show you guys a quick look in the front here. So that room right there, that's where we just were. And the whole roof is caved in. They stopped using the crematorium in 1950, and I think it's just sat abandoned since then. So I'm lucky enough to have a camera with infrared, so it's actually pitch black in here. Um, I've never had any sort of experience with ghosts or paranormal or anything, so I think we're just kind of going to sit here and just see uh, if we feel anything, if we hear anything, and I'll kind of just talk to you guys about um, what I'm feeling and hearing in here. We can't see anything other than the light on the camera. So it's like completely pitch black. But I think we'll sit here for a couple minutes. So if you don't want to sit through this, uh, I think probably maybe two minutes we'll sit here. Uh, fast forward to this time right here. First of all, very silent. It's raining right now, uh, so we can hear the rain trickling. Otherwise, I feel calm. Feel anything? No. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Emmy's ter absolutely terrified when we were coming here. We were debating whether or not we wanted to come here at night. And we were thinking about it, thinking about it, and thinking about it. And then randomly, the alarm clock went off in the hotel room. <laughs> So I took it as a sign that we should probably come here. But uh, that gave me a little bit of shivers. But now that we're here, it feels completely fine. I know there is a cemetery close to here. Um, for the first 40 years that this place was running, it uh, cremated their own their own bodies. Well, if somebody died here, either the family could claim the body, if family didn't come and claim, what? Well, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, for the first 40 years that this place was running, the it was up to the facility to dispose of the bodies. If somebody died here, uh, the family could come and claim it. But if nobody claimed it, then they were able to, uh, it was up to them to dispose of it. So that's why they built this crematorium. Uh, there's a cemetery right around here somewhere close by. And uh, 1,498 people were, uh, went through, or at least buried in the cemetery. Most of those were cremated remains.
Yeah, it's just rain dripping. <laughs> <laughs> We do hear little things. I think it's just when small raindrops are building up into a big drop, and then the drop comes down and hits on, on the floor. Well. <laughs> How scared are you? There's nothing happening in here. Okay, well, I don't want to let my camera sit in the rain too long, so let's pack it up. Yeah. Okay. Let's go home. <laughs> you can turn the lights on if you want. That's good. Just getting back to the crematorium here in the daytime. Thought I'd give you guys a bit of a look, anyways. This is where we did our filming last night. Had the camera set up here, sitting on the stairs. Bit of a look during the daytime here. Come around back no, to the fireplace. Yeah, last night when we walked back here, I got caught on this wire. There's a wire hanging down right here. It goes up and it clangs on some on the chimney up here so when we got down to the to the fireplace that was clanging it spooked us a little bit and that's it so actually i found a back door into the crematorium so we can get in the main room here and this is the back side of where the big chimney is I'm assuming this is where the bodies would have been burnt. Just going to switch over to infrared here. Yep. Just wanted to take a moment to talk about this crematorium. It's really fascinating going to places like this and learning about the history, but the reality is a lot of terrible things did happen here. And a lot of the bodies that were burnt here, they were never claimed by family. When they cleaned this place out, they found hundreds of tin food cans full of human ashes with just um, a patient number on it. So just wanna say that anyone that does go and visit places like this, just make sure you're respectful of the history and the injustice that happened in places like this. This building in here behind me, this is where everyone actually worked and lived and it is absolutely incredible. Check this out. The property here is very big, stretches all the way over here. This building here is completely abandoned. Now all the windows are smashed, everything, but it's boarded up so we probably can't get inside. There's another building further down this one that you can see right there. That one's also, I don't know if it's abandoned, it's, it, it's not in function. Um, the power's still on, but nothing's happening in there. Uh, it's, these ones over here, these are still in use. They've been repurposed for some uh, modern business, but let's take a look around this one. All the doors have this. Surprised, I'm, I'm assuming it's just because it's too much liability to have anyone in here. Um, it's still the same property as, as the uh, dairy farm, so I don't know why they allow people in the dairy farm but not in here. I'm not complaining. I really enjoyed getting to check out those other buildings, but I'd really like to go in here as well.
completely overgrown, so it's hard to see, but this building here and this one here, they are attached. There's a hallway that goes in between. But a lot of this stuff has been completely overgrown. So when you guys get a nice wide view of the facility here, great big building. Go around back here, there's some really cool uh, octagon shaped buildings. Check it out. Let's see if we can look in here anywhere. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there. Not much in there. Empty room. Just around the other side here, there's another one of these octagon buildings. This one has a table and some chairs. Back there. That looks like about it. Actually, that looks like it could be a record player in the back. One thing I'm noticing right up here, these windows have slid out the bottom. So the water's gonna be going in, that's gonna rot pretty quickly in there. Although for being abandoned for 50 years almost, this place is in remarkably good condition. A lot of the windows have been broken out, but other than that, from the outside looks good. I can't see inside. Could have a fair bit of water damage, but I'm not sure. Here we go, here's a window we can look in here. I was talking about the heaters at the other location. This is what I meant. The water boilers or whatever they are. Looks like it's in pretty good shape actually. This is the first, first level. Second level might not be quite as good. Just an empty building by the looks of it. That's the building we were just at. Now we come over here. This one is also not in use. But it's kind of cool because the power is still on here. You guys know we came last night as well. Uh, the power was on inside the building we could see. And if anyone knows, I really would like to know what this is. Emmy thinks it's an evacuation route. I don't think it's strong enough for that. Um, but if anyone knows what that is, please let us know. We can see right through the windows on this one. It looks really clean in there. As you can see, the power's on. Lights are on in there. The architecture of this building is quite similar to the last one. Nice facade. But I want to show you guys this. Because the architecture of this one's really impressive and it's not typical for anything you see anywhere around British Columbia. It's amazing. I don't think this building is in use either, but it's sitting here uh, locked up with the power on. I just don't think anybody's using it for anything. Not much going on in there. That's it for the Northern State Mental Hospital. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's too bad we couldn't get inside and check out some of these buildings, but that site of the dairy farm, uh, that blew me away when I first seen it. This is kind of just a bonus. The, the buildings here are super beautiful. I hope the state does something to, to keep them as they are. Maybe the public could enjoy it a little bit more. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and I'll catch you on the next one. We have to go through a nude beach to get to what we're trying to find today, so. It's hard to tell from the photos, but this thing is huge. <laughs>